Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's Baby Girl Clothing Haul. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by again. I am so excited about today's video. If you are new to my channel, you don't know that I am currently a mommy to five. I'm pregnant with my sixth baby. And right now we have four boys and one girl. And my last little girl was born nine years ago. So to say that we are ecstatic that we are having a baby girl is an understatement. So with baby girl comes all the girly things, all the things I haven't been able to buy for years and years and years, and I'm so excited. I swear that the style has changed so much between 2011 and 2020 in terms of baby girl fashion. And I am so excited that I finally got to just kind of go shopping and buy some baby girl stuff. I cannot wait to see her in these clothes and I can't wait to share these clothes with you. So the majority of this haul is going to be from a company called Pat Pat. I will link them in the description box below. This is the first time that I have ordered from them. This is not sponsored, but I have kind of seen their company advertised a lot via Instagram and YouTube. And they were having an amazing sale one day and I had insomnia one night and I kind of went a little crazy shopping. But honestly, y'all, I got so much stuff for like $125 that I could totally justify it. Like when the package came in, it felt like the clothes just kept going and going and going. So I think it was $125 well spent. I feel like the quality is pretty good. I have not washed these items yet, but so far they seem fine. And then I have a few other clothing pieces from like Target, Walmart, etc. So anyways, I'm going to stop rambling. We're going to jump into today's baby girl clothing haul. All right, so to start with, I'm going to go like in no particular order. I kind of just piled all the clothing in here that I purchased. So Pat Pat had a lot of just like basic options. These are actually like little like tight leggings and they have some detail along the bottom. It's kind of like the ribbed material. So I just got white. These I got, I think they were in the six to nine month size. So what I tried to do, the babies do next month. And so I tried to make sure that I purchased items that she could wear right away and some things that she can wear like throughout the winter and throughout the spring of next year. So these are obviously for the winter, but you can never go wrong with a pair of like basic little white leggings. Okay, this outfit y'all, I'm dying. <laughs> this is also from Pat Pat. And can you just look at this little romper? I mean, I die, I die. It's so cute, it's like navy, and it has like flesh pink and these little palms along the legs, oh my gosh. This is a zero to three months, so this should fit her pretty much within the first like month of her life. And then this also came with a matching bow. The thing is with Pat Pat's bows is I guess you can tie them to fit your baby's head, which is convenient, but I need to look up some YouTube tutorials on how to actually tie a bow. But this came with a bow and this adorable little romper, and you will for sure see a picture of her in that shortly after she's born. So with that being said, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to be bringing you a lot more pregnancy content within the next month or so. We're gonna do some baby watch videos, and I also bring weekly cleaning motivation. There's lots of cleaning to do. We're currently sitting in the nursery. It's not fully decorated yet, but we're starting to get some pieces put in here, and I am loving the way this room's coming out. I cannot wait to share it with you all. But enough rambling, I keep rambling. We're gonna get back into the clothing haul now. Okay, so this is also from Pat Pat. And this is obviously for winter. It's like a mint green color. It is a footless little outfit. So you could wear this, you know, like she could be super cozy and comfortable in this, but this is, could also be worn like with a fancy little bow and just like dress it up. So this one, their clothes don't have their sizes on it, but I'm pretty sure I ordered six to nine months in this just so it would fit her throughout the winter. I loved the color, I love the ribbon material, and honestly, this is very, very soft, and the material is very thick, so I feel like it's going to be super comfy for winter and keeping her warm. Um, I loved the little like wooden details and the little ruffles, but mm, I die. I think I'm gonna say I die a lot in this video. 
Here are a few more basics that I grabbed from Pat Pat, so nothing like super exciting, but these are actually little footed tights. So they're just gray, and then they actually have like a little bow feature right here. I'll make sure I zoom in so you guys can actually see, but super cute, just gray. These I also think I got like in the six to nine, maybe three to six, I don't know, fitter for winter. And then this is a pair very similar to the first ones that I showed you, but this is a light gray instead of a white. So just the ribbed, footless little leggings. Okay, this little outfit, y'all. <laughs> so stinking cute. Okay, so I went with a very neutral color with this one. Um, I did that with some of her clothes because I figured I could always like dress it up with like a little bow. But this is just a little spaghetti strap onesie. It has some little wooden details right here. And it comes with these little like booty shorts. How cute with a little like butt ruffle. So I just thought that that would be so cute and basic just paired together for her to wear shortly after she's first born. I'm pretty sure I got this in newborn or in zero to three, but you could put any color bow with this and just dress it up. And I just thought that it was a super practical, comfy outfit where she could still look totally adorable. Obviously being a mommy of soon to be six, I realized that you need practicality in your clothing, especially newborn clothing, more than cuteness. But I love that Pat Pat had some options that could be both practical and super cute. So this little outfit is more for next summer. So think about a little toddler, like just starting to walk, like toddling around. I don't want to think about her growing up yet, but like, oh gosh, she'll be so cute in this. So this is like a little coral color. It's a little romper and it has like a bow feature that you tie. Again, it has the wooden buttons. All of Pat Pat stuff seems to have that, but it's just super cute and basic. Pretty sure I got this in a 12 to 18 months for next summer. This little outfit is for this winter. I think I got this in six to nine months. It's just a little like ruffle, like onesie. So I have seen people do multiple things with these. Some people just put tights under them. Some people pair them with pants. I think it would look super cute with like just tights underneath and a big old bow. It also has the wooden buttons going down the back. And this is a thicker material as well. So I actually purchased this in a couple of different colors. But this one I got for like later on in the winter to fit her. I loved this purple color. It was like very like, I felt like a classic color. It wasn't like purple in your face, but just like pretty little lilac. So really like that. These are just two of the headband bows. Has the big wide band, the big old bow. I got it in a blush pink. And I also got it in a white. This is not even like, I'm not even going to go through all of her bows because trust me, there's a lot. But I figured I would show you the ones that I have gotten new. Um, from Pat Pat, I also got two more bows. This one is kind of like a, like a mauve color almost. And it just has like the little like rubber band, headband. But I liked the size of this bow. I think your bows that day were on sale for like $1.99 or something. And then this one is the same bow. You can't really tell because of the packaging, but it's just a mustard color. So same bow. Moving right along, this is also for when she is a toddler. So like I said, like next summer, just learning to toddle around. This could probably even carry into like next fall, like August, September. So this is just a basic like pants uh, jumper set, but it has a little tie that goes around her neck. And then the back is actually backless. So I've seen a lot of pictures on Instagram of little girls wearing this and it's so stinking cute. It also has pockets so she can hold all of her toddler goodies. I mean, it always cracks me up when baby clothes have pockets because like, what are they keeping? But maybe she can keep her binky or something in there. But I just figured she's gonna look so cute in that. I actually would love that in my size. This one I got in a smaller size. I think this is like three to six months. So it is a little pants set jumper. Um, but the beauty of this one is she could wear it if it's still warm enough without a shirt underneath or she could wear just a basic white onesie underneath this in the winter so this could kind of go throughout a few more months. Again, it's that pretty lilac color, has the wooden buttons, has the ruffle detail, super cute. I want to say that nothing that I purchased was more than like $10.99. They were having an amazing sale the day that I ordered. So... I really was like impressed with their prices. These next two items are little hats. 
They're the same hat, just different colors. So it's a black one and a mustard one, and it kind of has like ruching in the back and a big old bow. So I thought these would be great for winter. Can't wait to see her little head in those. Y'all, baby girl clothes, so much fun. So much fun. I've really missed these. <laughs> I really, really have. I'm so excited to have another daughter and I'm so excited about her clothes. All right, this ne next little set, I think I've gotten six to nine months and it's actually like a pants and sweatshirt set. So these little pants are, I don't know, kind of like balloonish. I don't know the technical term, but they have a tie. They're like white with some mauve and um, navy and teal. Super cute. And then they have the little sweatshirt to match. So the pocket of the sweatshirt has the same design and so does inside the hood. So that'll just be a keeper, a keeper, a super cute um, little set for winter that I can throw on her. That's once again practical, but cute. And okay, this bow I die, die over. A girl can never have enough leopard print. And it's the big old bow and the big band. This would look so cute, y'all, with so many of these outfits because leopard pierce with everything. But this with that little black romper that ties around her neck. I mean, can't wait. Cannot wait. We're 31 weeks now. So I'm counting. <laughs> I can't wait for her to be here. Um, also, going along with bows, that little set that I showed a minute ago with the hood and the pants also came with a bow that you tie yourself. So I have not tied it yet, but there is a bow there. Okay, this one, I loved the color of this one. This I think I got in three to six months. So like right when winter first starts, it is a burgundy color. It's picking up a little bit more maroon on camera, but it's burgundy. And it has like the ruffled details, the little wooden buttons. It's ribbed all the way down. So I feel like it's going to be a super cute fit. It's just plain on the back. And I feel like this is going to be so practical and cute for her to wear in the winter. It also came with a bow as well that we will need to tie. So my mother-in-law is super gifted when it comes to like tying bows. So I might be taking all of those to her to tie. But like I said, I just need to like look up how to do it. Okay, this next little set, this is one when I pulled it out of the packaging, I was like, oh my gosh. So this is also for spring, summer next year. So like more like toddler, but so cute. And she's going to look so cute toddling around in it. So here is just the top. It's kind of like the paplum, purplum, how do you pronounce it? I don't know. I'm from Appalachia. I always pronounce things incorrectly. But anyways, it kind of has the little like different bottom and then it has the buttons and then the back actually crisscrosses like on her little body so that's going to be super cute with that like a little shirt under it it'll just be like a little crisscross you know strapless top and then it came with little shorts to match so it's just like a little set with ruffles it's going to be so cute and so practical I feel like that will be adorable for her to toddle around in um, come spring or summer next year my babies are always tiny so I think the largest size I bought was like 12 to 18 months. So even though she won't be 12 months until like the end of August, beginning of September next year, depending on when she comes, my babies are tiny. So I'm sure this will fit her perfectly in the spring, summer next year. All right, here's some more basics. I honestly thought we had gotten through all these, but we haven't. I love these leggings. Actually, I forgot that I got them. This is kind of like a... I don't even know how to explain this color. It's not blush, it's not mauve, it's kind of like a good mixture, but it's a good neutral as well. So it's just ribbed leggings. I think I bought these in a bigger size. I think these may be like six to nine months so she can wear them later in the winter, but super cute to pair underneath a lot of these items. And then I also got her a pair of just like black tights that also have the little bow detail right here um, that she can wear throughout the winter. Okay, this next one is that same lilac color that I've shown a few times. This is more like a practical sleeper, and I bought it in a larger size. I'm pretty sure this is six to nine months, maybe 12 months, but I feel like this is like a sleeper that she could wear still out in public, and it doesn't look like I just have pajamas on her. So it does not have the wooden buttons, but it has like kind of like hidden buttons going down. It's just the lilac color. It has just sleeves, and it also looks like you could do the mittens, which with this size, I never would, but 
you could with these if you wanted to. Um, but I just wanted to get her a few like practical pieces. That way if it's really, really cold out and I just need her to be in something that looks cute but still be warm, I can throw this on her, put a bow with it and call it an outfit. And this material is very thick. It's heavy actually. So I feel like this will keep her really warm. Here is another just little basic like ribbed outfit that you could wear as a sleeper or out and about. It has like white buttons, unlike the wooden ones we've seen. And then this one is footless and it's ribbed all the way down. It's not quite as thick as the other one, but it's still like a good material. So I bought this for her, like I said, to be practical but cute. And then I also bought basically the same style in a mustard yellow because mustard yellow is so cute. It has big wooden buttons on this one. They do not go all the way down, just partial. It is footless. Just kind of a cute, basic piece. All right. This next little outfit is so cute. Okay, this is a little romper. And I think I bought this in, I want to say zero to three. It looks a little larger than that. So maybe I bought three to six months. But this could be paired just like this for summer. But I could also put a white onesie underneath this and some tights and she could wear this into, you know, like early um, winter as well. Like right when it starts getting cold. So super cute, love the color. Going along with that mustard yellow. I have a few pieces. Okay, this is adorable. <laughs> I honestly have forgotten what I got. This is a teeny tiny little romper. This is definitely for like what she's like, First month of life, essentially. The first month of her life should still be decently warm. So I just got like the mustard yellow. I thought this would be so cute for like going to the pumpkin patch because when we first go to the pumpkin patches up here, if they're open this year, um, then it'll still be warm. So I thought this was a good fall color. Like I said, this could also transition into the colder months with a onesie and some tights, but this would look super cute with like that big old leopard bow or some of my other bows, but I love the ruffle details. It has ruffles that go all the way down, but it also kind of has like a piece on the inside so you're not gonna like see straight into her chest. So I think the fit's gonna be really well. And it's like a linen material. What I'm noticing is their summer items are more like a thin linen, which I like, and then their winter items are like the material's much thicker. But this will like not be too hot. It'll be great for her. Love this. And then here's another mustard yellow, and it's basically just like that lilac one that I showed you earlier, just in a smaller size. So it's just like the little romper with the long sleeves that you could pair with some tights. It has the wooden buttons along the back. Super cute. That'll be a great transition into fall and winter. Here's another just like little practical piece. It has the big old buttons. It's like a light pink and nothing on the back. Super simple, dress up, dress down. Like I said, I got quite a few of these items because I just feel like that's like something that I'll reach for all the time. And then I love the color of this one, y'all. Oh, I've seen so many pictures going around Instagram on advertisements of babies wearing this particular outfit and I had to have it. So it's like a little like pants set with the wooden buttons, but this I bought in a small size, so this is like a zero to three. And then it also comes with a bow that you tie as well. So I just loved this coral color. I thought that was a great practical piece. I like that it had the pants, that way when we first start transitioning into the colder weather, she could still like be cool, but also be a little bit warmer. So love that. The pictures and advertisements definitely sold me on that one. <laughs> Okay, this is a cute little option that I actually have not seen. Uh, they did not have this the last time I had a baby girl. Okay, so this is not a swaddle. But it's more like a little like burrito that you just like stick your newborn down in for pictures. So you can just stick her down in it. It's not super tight, so it's not gonna be a swaddle that you would use for bed. This is more just for like photo's sake. But I think that this set was like on sale for like $3.99 on Pat Pat, so I grabbed it. So it's just like a little burrito. I loved like just the like simple pattern and colors of these flowers. I thought this would be great for like some hospital pictures. And then it came with a matching bow with the rubber band band. So this will actually fit a little newborn head. So just super cute, simple, something that I can put in my hospital bag and take some cute pictures of her with. 
Okay, so that was all of my Pat Pat. Like I said, I got all of that for $125, which I feel like was really, really good. So I love that company so far. Like I said, I have not washed the clothes, so I'll let you know if they end up washing terribly. But I am going to link as many of these outfits as I can find in the description box below. So be sure to go click on those if you see anything that you like. The rest is going to be from Target and I think Walmart. I honestly don't remember where I got all these pieces. But these are just more like little pieces that I've picked up here and there as I've been out shopping because honestly, we found out we were having a little girl and then like a week later, COVID hit. So then I couldn't go shopping. So as I started like venturing back into stores, I've picked up little pieces here and there. So this first one is from Target. It's Cat and Jack and I bought this in a newborn size and it's so stinking cute. So it's just like a little romper. I love the colors of it. It's like a faux denim up here with like some like neon green like pom-poms, fun colors, has the same pattern right here. It's just so girly and dainty and cute. She's gonna look adorable in that and I got that in a newborn size. So that was $11.99. I'm sure Target had a sale, but I purchased that. This is also from Target. This is just a practical piece. This is a little newborn onesie that has like the little ruffled details. Like had more like a neon yellow I remember I got this for like $3. It was on clearance. So just a super simple piece that I can throw on her that's practical. Okay, this next one also came from Wal or from Target. And this is like a little jumpsuit. It has florals. It's navy and like yellow and blue. It has a little button on the back. Just super cute. I got this in newborn as well. Now, I know a lot of people don't buy newborn, but like I said, my babies are always tiny and they're always in newborn clothes for at least like a month to a month and a half. So I did make sure that I purchased quite a few newborn things. This is adorable. This was from Target as well. And it was just like a little like practical romper. This is something I could throw on if we're like running to the park, running out anywhere, you know, dress it up. But it's also like a simple, comfy summer piece. It's not thick at all. And this was $7.99 from Target. This next piece is also from Target, and I went ahead and bought this in a three to six, I think. It's more like a winter set or like early fall set. So it has like the long sleeves with the ruffles, and then it has some little yellow pants to match. And I just thought that that would be a good practical throw on set as we transition into the colder weather. And then this is the last piece that I have purchased and I'm obsessed with this. I was shopping with my friend when I purchased this and I was like, does she need that? And she's like, oh, she needs that. So it's just like a little denim romper with the ruffle along the top. And I got this at newborn and it's so stinking sweet. Honestly, this might be her coming home outfit. I haven't quite decided. I told my daughter that she could pick her coming home outfit out of the clothes that she had. So she's excited to do that. But. Thank you all for watching this haul. Like I said, I am going to link all of these clothes, the ones I can find at least in the description box below. Most of the items were from Pat Pat or Target, and I am obsessed. I cannot wait for her to get here. So like I said, if you are new to my channel, please be sure to hit that subscribe button because there's going to be lots of pregnancy content coming your way, as well as my normal weekly cleaning motivation, nursery decorating, nursery organizing, lots of fun videos to come. We are still in the midst of a few home renovations, so those are going to be coming out. I'm kind of like in full nesting mode right now and ready to get some things done. But I hope that you all enjoyed this. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.